Alrighty, so I'm starting a new series this month, or this year, excuse me, this year, 2021, on books that I've quote read. Now there may be books that I actually physically read, sorry about the airplane, but a lot of these books, matter of fact, most of the books I've listened to on audio. And to be quite honest with you, I listen to them on YouTube. So I'll put those links down below, but I'll let you know what I think about them. Uh, I'm not gonna give you a synopsis or maybe a brief synopsis, but I'll let you know what I think about them. And I'm also gonna put um, Amazon links if you want the paper copy of the book. The choice is yours. Some people love paper. I What I do is I listen to these videos while I'm working so I can absorb um, either a story or some information because I listen to both fiction and nonfiction. So the first one, all our Handmaid's Tales fans, I listened to this one and it was narrated by Elizabeth Moss. She does a fantastic job. So it was the original source material for the Handmaid's Tale series on Hulu, which I believe is supposed to start again in April. I can't wait till it comes out. But it, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like, um, a brief outline of everything that we've followed so far on Hulu. Now, I will tell you, I did read this book back in the 80s when it first came out, and it was a little bit, maybe I was too young at the time, but reading it now, you know, I'm, look, look it's a different perspective for me now, but it, it was really good, and like I said, Elizabeth Moss, she did an awesome job. Um, then I listened to The Green Mile, because I love Stephen King, that's why. <laughs> Um, this is another book that I've just I've read and I've listened to multiple times. I have the movie It's just a great story. We all know it. I listened to it again. I really really like it and I know I I'm not alone on that one, but it um, It was just something to kind of fill my time while I figured out what else I wanted to listen to uh, Now I tried something different. I've never read the book Jurassic Park I've seen all the movies all the old ones and the new ones which are very good and this book um, it started out good there's some differences and and this is kind of where things went bad for me in the book the two kids are, are opposite so the boy is older the girl is younger which is fine um, that part isn't so bad but what happens to me I have issues with dialect sometimes so the narrator is a man not that that's a problem but I don't know if this is the narrator or the writer. All through this thing, you know, all these things are happening. We we all know the story, right? We're being chased by dinosaurs and horrible things are going on around us that we have never seen before, right? And the little girl keeps going, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. And it really, it got annoying with me. Now, I never, I didn't finish this book. I got almost to the end and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I had to give it up. Um, but if it weren't for that, maybe if I tried reading a hardcover or, you know, a paper book, um, I might not feel the same, but the narrator did it for me. And I can think of another book where I had that experience a long time ago. I was listening to a book on CD and it was The Grapes of Wrath and I didn't like the dialect that the, the narrator was doing. So... Okay, so to clarify that, when he was doing dialect, the people were talking, one of the characters in The Grapes of Wrath, is the name is Rosa Sharon. That's how I say it. That's how everybody around me says it, Rosa Sharon. But these people lived in Oklahoma. They were called Okies, and they were migrating to California during the Great Depression. And so when he would do the dialect, he said Rosa Sharn. And to me, it sounded fake, and maybe it was fake. I don't know how this particular narrator talks, and maybe they weren't that good with dialect. But at the time, I had a girlfriend who was living in Oklahoma, and I was we talked about books all the time, and I was telling her about it and how it was getting on my nerves. And she said, Jenny, that is how they talk. That's the dialect. That's the accent that they have in Oklahoma. So I don't know. I don't know. But it got on my nerves. I did finish that book. But just an example of things that... I have trouble with when I'm listening to books okay and it may be me <coughs> excuse me I'm so sorry <clears throat> then I listened to another book this is kind of a fiction but it's also a business book and it's who moved my cheese and it talks about um, it's a little story about two mice and two people him and haw 
who are in a maze and the cheese disappears and so how they all deal with it and it's it's a book about well the moral of it is how are you dealing with changes in your life and it's a good book as well um, I'll put that one down below of course and then the last one I watched was the science of getting rich or listened to was the science of getting rich that one I think I need to go back and listen to again it's a short book it's an easy one to listen to um, I just can't seem to retain all of the information and it may have been because it was so close to holidays so many things were going on um, but the the one thing that I can tell you about the the science of getting rich is basically it's not this law of attraction thing okay it's basically you got to do the work okay so that's one of the, the main things that I got out of it the other thing that um, I can tell you about it is it's not all these little catchphrases and mental tricks that you play and you know there is a discipline to it so but I'm gonna go back because I really think I need to re-listen to that one so you might be on my February li or January list as well anyway those are the books that I read thank you so much for watching I always 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 appreciate that I hope that you found this valuable please let me know down below um, if you have any suggestions on books that you would like me to listen to or look for um, likes I always love the likes I love the likes and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to know more so have a good one bye bye